Hello and welcome to Point Click Killer, a gory adventure game where uh, we're tired, we're on the road, and we see a motel. We decide to stop off for the night. Point Click Australia 1976. Eight hours on the road and I couldn't keep my eyes open. That's when I saw the motel sign decided to stop for the night. Person at reception seems overexcited to see you. Okay. Alright, so mouse up here to pull my inventory. Well evening, sweetheart. Welcome to Point Click. You lost? Uh no, I'm looking for a room for the night, please. Sure thing. Room 13 is available. Here's the key. You can pay me in the morning. Okay. I grab. Oh, there it is. Thanks. Have a good night. All right. Uh, locked. I need to open my room. Okay. That room 13. 10. 11, 12, 13. All right, these graphics uh, remind me of like the Scum games, the Lucas Adventure games. All right, in we go. It's actually quite a nice room. Hopefully, I can get a good night's sleep. Yeah, not that bad. Check out the bathroom. Nothing for us to interact with, I guess. The, the sink. Oh! You're not that bad looking. My eyes look so different in this light. We're a vampire. Ugh, what happened? I think I blacked out for a while there. Really need to go to bed. Yeah. Okay. Toilet? Well, it isn't the scariest thing in the motel, but it's pretty close. Okay, I guess that's everything in here. See what else we can interact with. Nothing. The bold looking bed. We slipped thankfully into a deep sleep. Alright. The hell? Here's a scream from outside startles you awake. What on earth is going on out there? Someone was murdered, it looks like. Oh my god, someone's been stabbed to death. Better call the police before the killer escapes. Oh my god. Whoever that was outside is now trying to get into your room. You need to try and escape or hide. Uh... Broke the front door. I think they're in my room. Can we get out through here? What do we got? Oh, no. That's not what we wanted. Well, I guess we're dead. Because there's nowhere else we can go. We don't have anything. Wait. Here we go. Come on. Oh, what the hell is that? Jesus, it's a massacre. for us to interact with here. Alright, let's get out of here. What the... F Ooh, a key. What's that for? 
R key. Okay. Lunatic is on a rampage. I need to get to a police station. Uh, he's out here. Can't use that here. Okay. Where can I use the blocked? I'm gonna I'm going back, okay. Um the only thing I think of is a red car. That's the only other car we can interact with. Oh, there's a police car. Oh, thank God. The police officer. Help me. Freeze. Get your hands up. Officer, help me. There's a killer chasing me. All right, stay calm. Where is this killer now? Behind you. Wait, what? Told you the killer was behind you. Oh, he's naked. Where the killer? And who was that banging on our door? Pretty sure they're gonna know that uh, a new officer showed up in someone else's car. Hey, car 42, you just get back from the motel? Anything going on? Nothing out of the ordinary. It was all quiet. Damn, it's always quiet out there. Why did we go to the police station instead of just leaving? Dead quiet. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. So, I'm just wondering, one, how were those bodies hanging in the bedroom when we just arrived at the hotel. Two, who was that banging on the door? I mean, we saw someone getting killed out the window. Why would we kill the cop, take his car, and then go back to the police station? Why not just leave? I don't know. Apparently, there's going to be a part two, so uh, maybe that will answer like some of my questions. All right, well, Act 2 actually came out uh, not long after I finished the last recording, so rather than separate them into two separate videos, we're going to just throw them together. So, there's Point Click Killer Part 2. Uh, yeah, everything looks good. Assuming that's a dead cop. Point Click Australia, 1976. No lady has stumbled on the body of Officer Grimes early this morning. More bodies were located inside the motel shortly afterwards, and a crime scene was quickly established. A few miles away, you are just starting to wake up after a long night at the office. Okay, so we're going to be playing as a different character. Your emergency pager starts to beep frantically. Detective Clark. Major reads Murder Motel 187. You get up and into your clothes quickly. 187 is code for a major murder investigation. Okay. Uh, anything for us to interact with? It's a beeper. I don't like there's anything else. All right, can't go anywhere until I have my toolkits. Here we go. Can we go talk to her first? Oh wait. Good morning, Steven. Joan across the street waves to you. Lovely old lady, but a little noisy. Morning, Joan. There's a lantern over here. Can we grab that? Oh, 
old-fashioned lantern. Go we'll talk to her. Doesn't look like it, but... Eh, I will see. Oh, alright. Go. Alright. Oh, do I have to actually... I do. Okay. There's a motel. Okay. I like how he's just still there. Thank God you're here, sir. Keeping the public and media well away for now. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help catch this psycho. Okay. You stab wound in the neck area, likely made by a sharp kitchen knife. The murderer took the victim's clothes as well as his car, so likely posing as a police officer. Here's the thing, why would you pose as a police officer in a small town like this? Like, you would think all the cops would know each other. The murderer took the victim's boots, which mean their feet were likely the same size, about a nine. A sign of the murder weapon anywhere in the vicinity. Okay. This was the killer's car in the first game. Locked. I could force it, but the key might be here somewhere. Maybe room 13. Okay. Car key. Bloody handprints. No fingerprints. The person who left this bloody handprint was wearing gloves. Okay. Someone remade this bed. Possibly trying to hide evidence. Hmm. Alright, what's in there? How about the bathroom? I'll get the police to crawl around down there later. Okay. Sink hasn't been used. Mirror doesn't have any useful fingerprints on it. Oh, it doesn't look like it has been touched. Hmm. Well, we have the car key. The letter is from a Vanessa Smith. No address. I need to get some more details on Vanessa. Okay. Plus something. Nothing in the center council. Not even a crumb. Need to pay a visit to the police station to get more answers. Okay. I'm assuming we can't go in any of the other rooms. Oh, we can. Motel guest has been stabbed multiple times and somehow strung up from the ceiling. Yes, yeah, it's just the same thing. Okay. Uh, television. Anything in this bathroom? More victims lay scattered around the bathroom. Mirror doesn't have any useful fingerprints on it. Huh. I think hasn't been used. It's covered in blood, though. Victims. Carefully assessing these victims reveals more stab wounds, but no new evidence.
Yeah, I'll get the police to crawl around. Okay. So we're heading back to the police station to look for a Vanessa Smith. All right. Where's the police station? There we go. Not far from the hotel. Is that her? That might have been her. Okay. We'll see if there's anything around. Hi, officer. I'm Detective Clark. I have a few questions I'm hoping you can help me with. Sure thing. Oh, uh, you know, see anything suspicious around here? Uh, go with this one. I know this sounds ridiculous, but have you seen any police officers coming through here acting suspiciously? Well, sir, I watch all the comings and goings and haven't seen anyone out of the ordinary. Sorry. Okay. There been a lot of murders. Kind of new to point click. Have there been any murders like this ones at the motel here before? Sorry to tell you, I've lived here my whole life and haven't seen anything like this before. Why are you sorry to tell me that? That's a good thing. You don't want to live in a place with a bunch of murders. There has been lots of reports recently of missing people, though. Okay. I need to get an address on a Vanessa Smith. Sure thing, one second. Okay, here we go. There are three on record. One deceased, one moved overseas, and the other is right here in point click. Fourteen Mayhem Streets. Exxon. I'll head over there after I'm finished here. All right. Thanks for your time. Your time, Detective Clark. Happy to help. Okay. Range. Oh. This is the only one I can shoot at. Hit the Clark, your range performance was generally good. Okay. Tactical choices were strategic, and you demonstrated a good understanding of target priority. Probably could have done better if I knew that I only had to focus on the one target. However, under stress, there were moments where your reaction seemed a bit rushed. Work on maintaining composure in high pressure situations. So we're gonna have a shooting segment. Thanks, instructor. It's a work in progress. Okay. I think that's everything here. So go check out on Vanessa Smith. All right. Now we gotta go through everything until we see here. Okay. Our home. Vanessa Smith. Oh, she lives right behind uh, our neighbor's house. Door is unlocked and slightly ajar. Hello? Anyone home? Can't see my hand in front of my face. I need a light before I go any further. Point click police. Anyone here? 
Good thing I have this. Got blood. Okay, we do not have code. Guess we're going upstairs. Jesus. Mannequin. Creepy mannequin stands threateningly in the darkness. Okay. Five, four, five, five. Killed them all. That's what it looks like, right? Five, four, five, five. Okay, the mannequin thing says the same for both of them. All right. Anything else around here? New. No. Five, four, five, five. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> Someone there? I find my way to light it. I need a light. There we go. There's a head. Oh my god. Joan, is that you? Hang on. I'll find something to help get you out of there. Oh, she's inside something. I thought it was just her decapitated head. Uh. Missing something around here. Oh, my head. What the hell happened? Hello? Is anyone there? Nothing of use in or under the bed. A little coin was hidden at the back of the shelf. Nothing of, of any interest in or around the toilet. It's firmly held to the wall by a serious looking screw. I can screw it. With the coin. And the coin on the screw, the pole is freed from the wall. It won't budge. Okay. The right leverage and the proper application of strength. Bingo! They should put that in a movie one day. Oh, are we? My god, how many people does she have down here? I'm gonna find a way out of this hole fast and call for help before the killer returns. Now, are we supposed to get out of here fast, or...? Yeah, it doesn't look like we can interact with anything. Large empty cardboard boxes. Large empty cardboard boxes have been left in the pile. Okay. I lock metal door. There's no way to break the lock on this door. There's enough food and water here to last everyone at least a month. Well, at least she's feeding everybody. There's no way to break the lock on this door. Yeah, okay, so where do we go? The... Steps and talking. It sounds like she's coming back. I need to hide. Can we hide here? The food? No. Hide behind the boxes. No. 
I thought maybe I can like hide behind the food. We could climb into one of the large boxes and try to stay silent. The hell? No, I'm keeping him alive with the others. As soon as she goes down, climb up the ladder and pull it up behind her. I don't want to kill him yet. Why do you? Oh, she's psycho. No, you're wrong. They're my living dolls. Come on, dude. You can stop hiding. No. Did you get out? Where have you gone, you rat? Yes. Yes, I agree. When we find him, we'll kill him. Ah. Uh, like, right when she was down there, that's when we should have got out of the hiding spot, run up the, the, the ladder, and then pull it behind us. Oh my god, she's insane. I need to get help. Okay, I don't know why she left us here. Alright. Let's get to the police station. We're just running. <laughs> Let me guess, everyone's gonna be dead? That's her. Excuse me, sir. Yes? How can I help? Oh, I don't need any help, Detective Clark. You do. Right in front of a police station? Now let's get you back to your new home, shall we? Nobody sees this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there we go. There's a uh, point-and-click killer, Act 2. This lady has, like, just brass balls on her to kill a detective right in front of a police station. During the middle of the day. Then again, our character is pretty stupid too. Because uh, Detective Clark should have jumped out from his hiding place once she was down by his cell. Climb up the ladder. Pull the ladder up with him. And then go get help. But no, nah, he decided not to do that. But there you go. There's Act 1 and Act 2. Assuming we're going to get in Act 3 at some point. But I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. Later.